Hey guys, I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to create a market profile um, TPO chart like this with a volume profile here on the right. So we're going to start from scratch and just so you know, um, the background is not pure black um, just because it may look different, but it is 888 um, for the RGB. Um, I just like that better than um, pure black. So. First thing you want to do, I'm going to right click, go into studies, and then I'm going to type in TPO, and we're going to add this pro TPO profile chart, and then we're going to do type in volume by price, and double click that, and add a volume by price, and I'm going to hit apply, and you can see this is what it looks like by default. Um, the TPO is super ugly, has a screen. The volume profile here separates the um, bid volume and the ask volume. So we're going to go here into the TPO, go to settings and inputs. We're going to want to keep most of this essentially the same. Um, what I want is I want it to extend the value area high and low. So we're going to go here to extend value area and I'm going to extend it till the end of the period. So it just goes till the next TPO. And then down here you can switch it to from blocks to letters if you'd like and but if you do, um, it usually has scaling problems, so you want to change the setting below it to zero so that it um, changes the font size automatically. Um, but I find that it often looks ugly and I don't pay attention to letters necessarily. I more so just um, look at the blocks. So I prefer blocks and so that's what I'm gonna keep it as. Um, feel free to switch it to letters if that's what you use. Um, next thing we want to do is get rid of the initial balance extension line. So right here, IBR extension display mode, change that from horizontal lines to none. Um, that way we get rid of those. And now that we're done with these settings, we're going to want to go into the subgraphs and that's where we're going to change some of the colors. And so the first thing we're going to want to change is the TPO letter um, or block color. And that's going to be this green part right here. I'm going to change this to a dark gray. So I'm going to type 48, 48, 48, and hit apply, apply. And you can see we have that dark color um, there. Um, the point of control, I'm going to change to a light gray or almost white. Um, 150, 150, 150 is the color I'm going to use right there. And then for the value area color, we're going to change it to 96, 96, 96. Um, that'll give us a little bit darker than that point of control. Um, and then the next thing we're going to change is these blue um, value area extension lines. So we're going to go here to value area extension lines, click on this, and we want it to be the same. So we're going to do 96, 96, 96. Hit apply. And then there you go. So now that the TPO is done, um, next thing we're gonna do, hit apply, okay, go out of that, and now go to the volume profile, and go to the settings and inputs. Um, first thing we're gonna wanna do um, for the volume profile is make it so that it is not separating the ask volume and the bid volume, so we're gonna change this bid volume and ask volume coloring method to none. Hit apply, as you can see by default, they're all blue, and it looks kind of ugly. You can see there's thicker gray spots and that is because there is an outline around every bar and the outline is um, set to thickness too, which we're gonna go and change later. Um, next thing you're gonna wanna do is highlight value area. We're gonna set that to yes. Otherwise the volume is all gonna be the same and there's gonna be no difference between the value area and out of the value area. Um, and then the next thing we're gonna wanna do is um, go to the subgraphs and we're going to change the colors. So first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come down here to the volume bars and outline, but volume bars, outline and fill color. And we are going to change this blue and we're going to make this the dark gray 48 48 48 you can see we did that and we're going to also change this one 
And as you can see, if we zoom in, you can see there's still an outline here that is pretty thick. Um, so what we're gonna do, go back into the settings, um, go to the volume profile, and then we're going to change the value area and outline here to 96, 96, 96. Let's correct that. And then switch the outline so it's also the same. Uh, but by default, it looks like it already is. And you can see these edges are kind of rounded, and that is because the width is set to 2. So we're going to change that to 1 so that now there are more jagged edges there, and it's going to look a little bit better. And I'm going to change some of these so that it doesn't show at the top. And that should be it for the volume profile. Um, you can right align it if you would like. So right now by default, or right now like this, it's going to look like that. And they both look, um, they're both left aligned. If you want to right align your volume profile, I like to right align it. Um, personally, you can do right here. Um, in the volume profile settings, right aligned volume bars and change that to yes. And that is essentially it. That's how you create um, a TPO and volume profile chart that looks like this. Um, hope you learned something and that helped out.